Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you, how to create a simple product card, using HTML, and CSS. Before proceeding further, please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open your code editor, then, create an HTML file. Let's include font awesome into our project. Copy the code for link tag, from cdnjs.com. Use another link tag, to include our CSS file. In the body, create a div element, with class as container. Inside it, create another div, with class as card. Inside it, create a div element, with class as product image. Create another div, with class as product detail. Inside it, create a span element, with the name of the product inside it. Create a div element, with class as rating. Use font awesome, to add the stars. I will be using a rating of 4.5. Create a sibling paragraph element, with product's description inside it. Create another div, with class as buttons. Inside it, create a div element, with class as price. Put the product's price inside it. Create a button element, with classes as cart, and button. Create another button element, with classes as favorite, and button. Insert a heart icon, using font awesome. Our HTML is ready. Let's write the CSS. Import the Poppins font, from Google Fonts. For the Universal Selector, set Padding, and Margin to 0. Set box sizing to border box. For the body, set display to flex. Set justify content to center. Set align items to center. Set height to 100%.
For the container class, set display to flex. Set justify content to space evenly. Set align items to center. For the card class, set width to 300 pixels. Set height to 420 pixels. Set position to relative. Set background color to white smoke. For the product image, set width to 300 pixels. Set height to 230 pixels. Set background image to URL of your product image. Set background repeat to no repeat. Set background position to 0 as X position, and, minus 75 pixels as Y position. The Y position is only required, if your image doesn't fit in this space of the card. The value may differ in your case. Set background size to cover. For the product detail class, set width to 300 pixels. Set height to 190 pixels. Set background color to dark gun metal color. Set border top right radius to 40%. Set padding to 0.8 rem. Set font family to Poppins Sans Serif. Set color to white. For the rating class, set font size to 0.7 rem. Set color to golden yellow color. Set user select to none. For the product detail classes P element, set font size to 0.8 rem. Set color to light gun metal color. Set margin top to 15 pixels. For the buttons class, set height to 65 pixels. Set margin top to 15 pixels. Set display to flex. Set align items to center. Set justify content to space between.
For the price class, set font weight to 700. Set font size to 1.1 rem. For the button class, set position to relative. Set border and outline to none. Set background color to a shade in between the previous gunmetal colors. Set color to white. Set height to 40 pixels. Set border radius to 50 pixels. Set font size to 0.9 rem. Set font family to Poppins Sans Serif. Set cursor to pointer. For the cart class, set width to 160 pixels. For the favorite class, set width to 40 pixels. Set border radius to 50%. For the button classes before selector, set content to empty string. Set position to absolute. Set top and left to 50%. Set transform to translate minus fifty per cent minus fifty per cent. Set border to one pixel width solid and color to same color that we used for buttons background color. Set height to forty five pixels. Set transition to zero point three seconds. For cart classes before selector, set width to 165 pixels. Set border radius to 50 pixels. For favorite classes before selector, set width to 45 pixels. Set border radius to 50%. On button hover, set its before selectors border color to white. Our project is ready. Let's see the preview. Let's make some adjustments. Reduce the margin top of buttons classes to 5 pixels. Reduce the margin top of product details classes P element to 7 pixels.
So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.